Hi, Stark Centeno, and let's talk about slipping rib and ehlers danlos or EDS. Now, hypermobile ehlers danlos can have as a feature any joint in the body that becomes too mobile. Now, there are different subvariants of EDS that might make one part of your body more mobile than others, but at the end of the day, the rib cage is going to be right in there with all the other joints. So it's got a possibility to be too mobile. How do the ribs get stable? They get stable through the ligaments that connect them in the front and the back to uh, the sternum and the spine, but also through the fascia, the tough fascial covering around the ribs. So from a treatment standpoint, if you've got EDS and slipping ribs, the focus should be on tightening down the ligaments and the fascia, usually through injection rather than surgery. But slipping rib syndrome is very common in patients with EDS, and that's because generally everything is hypermobile, including the rib cage. Hopefully this helps. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Hey, get this out to more patients by like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks so much.